Hey everyone, it's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great afternoon. It's Saturday afternoon. <clears throat> Pardon me, I want to continue my series on uh, albums you need to listen to. And I think I've chosen a pretty darn good one. One of the most famous albums out there. Before I get started, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it. I want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to... Um, teach you guys and, and show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collection and I'm also learning as I go because I'm discovering uh, a bunch of stuff from these great bands. So the album that I'm featuring today is the the Beach Boys Pet Sounds, an amazing amazing album, one of my, starting to become one of my favorites. I haven't, uh, I just picked it up uh, the other day and I've been meaning to get it. I looked at it and I wondered and I was never really a Beach Boys fan. I found their music kind of poppy and songs about surfing and, and uh, teenage girls and hot rods and stuff. It just wasn't my style. But um, the more I've listened to this, and I've listened to it probably about five times now since I got it the other day, uh, it's definitely a more mature sound from the Beach Boys, talking about real life, real situations. Um, circumstances that someone gets into, trying to figure out where they stand, for, trying to figure out what life's all about, um, wishing they could do things that uh, adults do um, as far as being together. Uh, so much more mature um, meanings to the songs and uh, that's what appeals to me. It's just an amazing, amazing song and album. Um, so this is uh, this was photographed, I believe, in the San Diego Zoo. It's the boys with uh, surrounded by a, a, a bunch of animals, and uh, not all the band members were keen on having their photos taken with animals because some of the animals weren't cooperative, <laughs> and they didn't like that all that much. Uh, this little book that's very informative talks a lot about the the songs themselves, uh, putting the album together, um, also mentions a, a ton of session players on the album, um, how difficult it was to perform it live because of the structures of the song and the uh, immensity of the amount of players on this on the album. Um, one of the great, uh, one of the more famous session players in there was the late great uh, Glenn Campbell, who played. Um, guitar and, and banjo, sorry. Uh, he was a huge session player back in the day. He played on a lot of Beach Boys albums as well as the Monkees and that type of thing. So, great, great player and of course he went on to stardom and, and uh, a huge player on his own. Um, probably one of the top guitar players ever. Uh, so the Beach Boys consist of Al Jardine on vocals, uh, Bruce Johnson on vocals, Mike Love on vocals, Brian Wilson on vocals, piano and bass guitar, uh, Carl Wilson on vocals, uh, guitar and 12 string guitar, and Dennis Wilson on uh, vocals and drums. Um, it was their 11th studio album. Um, it was released in 1966. Uh, it also it was inspired um, after Brian Wilson listened to the Beatles Rubber Soul album. He was so impressed with that album that he took a year off touring from the band. Uh, he wanted to produce and, and create the greatest rock and roll album ever after listening to Rubber Soul because he thought it was a huge album for the Beatles and he was impressed by it so that's why he created Pet Sounds or one of the reasons why he created Pet Sounds. Uh, it's more of a solo album um, than a band album as he produced, arranged and pretty much entirely composed the album itself. Paul McCartney was uh, was impressed by this album. He loved uh, one song in particular on it, God Only Knows, and it inspired him and then the band to uh, create Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Uh, again, another famous album. I think it's this one was ranked number two by Rolling Stones. And I think Sgt. Pepper's is ranked number one by Rolling Stones in the top 500 albums of all time. Um, so Pet Sounds reached number 10 on the Billboard's top 
LP charts and um, peaked at number two uh, in the top 40 in the UK and it remained there for about six months. Um, it's been promoted as the most progressive pop album ever and the most influ influential album uh, in the history of, uh, of music. Um, Rolling Stones again ranked it second uh, and then Sgt. Pepper's first. Um, Pet Sounds moved from the surfing and hot rod and talking about girls type of songs, very poppy. I was never a big fan of that. Um, to this album here, which is more mature, more adult themed songs. Um, didn't sit well with the band or even the fans at the time, as um, when, when Brian Wilson uh, presented this to the band, they weren't up on it because it was beyond their style. Um, different than what they were used to. Same with the fans, they weren't used to this type of music by them. But obviously it, uh, it took and, and uh, created an amazing, amazing album. So this one has uh, 13 tracks on it plus a bonus track. So the first uh, tracks from 1 to 13 are in mono. And then from 15 to 27 they're in stereo, so it repeats itself. But again, one in mono, one in stereo. There's also a bonus track on this one, Hang On To Your Ego. Um, so I'll just go through quickly the songs. Unfortunately I can't play uh, a lot of them. But uh, the first song here, Wouldn't It Be Nice? This is uh, a mature song about a couple wishing they were older so they could spend the night together, basically. Um, next one on it, uh, You Still Believe in Me. Uh, a couple going through some hard times and wondering if they're still believing in each other and wanting to just stay together. Beautiful, beautiful song. Next one is That's Not Me. about uh, someone being alone after a breakup and wondering if he can uh, handle itself on his own and he's questioning himself. Next one is uh, Don't Talk, Put Your Head on My Shoulder, a beautiful song sung by Brian Wilson. Basically, let's just hold each other and don't say a word, just, just feel the love between each other. Next one is I'm Waiting for the Day. Great drum intro. Next one is uh, Let's Go Away for a While. Beautiful, beautiful song. A little bit of xylophone in that one for sure. Again, if you notice, much different than their poppy, uh, surfing type of songs. Next one is Sloop John B. Next one is The Beautiful God Only Knows. Sung by Carl Wilson. That's it's it. With the Bleach Boys, they were super talented. They had so many vocal styles and so many uh, of the band members could sing. And uh, just, of course, beautiful harmonies as well. Next one is I Know There's an Answer. Next one is Here Today. Number 11, I Just Wasn't Made For These Times, basically a feeling about not getting, not being, uh, feeling alone and not being part of everything, um, kind of an outsider. Next one is the title track, Pet Sounds.
great song. Next one is Carolina No. I believe uh, if I'm, it's basically someone that's changed. Uh, he, he thought he knew who he was with and she's changed and, and he's not understanding why. So is that hence the word Carolina No. Why, why have you changed basically? And the next one is the bonus track, Hang On To Your Ego. I wish I could play more. I can't, unfortunately. Um, YouTube won't allow that. But uh, have a listen. Um, if you like, I can put a link to my Spotify down below so you can listen to this as well. I think it's, an, a, fan, it's a fantastic album. Um, so to me, this album uh, takes the Beach Boys from a teenager um, looking for fun in the sun um, talking about surfing and, and uh, girls, girls, girls to uh, more mature themes, talking about love, talking about uh, romance, talking about life, um, talking about being alone, talking about the struggles of, of breaking apart. And um, it's just a superb album, and it's definitely one you need to listen to. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you. Take care. Bye now.